Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 6 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to start our kitchen. And then now we have this. Um, we added this casing for the fridge and then the convection oven. Now we're gonna continue working on this. Um, what I'm going to add right here is the sink. So because we're going to add a the sink there, we need to add it from level 1 first. And then let's look for our sink going to our insert load family. And then now we could go and look for plumbing, architecture, fixtures. And then here we have some sink. And then we have kitchen sinks right here. We could use the double if we want to or the triple. I believe we, s we have enough room so we could do a double right here. So click open CM and then here uh, you click your space bar and then we can rotate it from here. So I'm just going to add it right about there. And then here we could put it up up to 925 because we know the height or the total height of that so now that we uh, add it there we can now double click here under R and then here we could adjust this now um, AL So now it's right there. If we go to our 3D, as you can see, we need to create a void extrusion around here. So to do that, we're going to click back this base, edit in place, and then now we could click create void form and then void extrusion. Once we click that, we could go now to level 1 and then we we need to set it. Let's set this one to a pick a plane. Cuz I know we could set it up from the top right here. So I set it from the top. Now we need to create a rectangle in order for us to have a void form right around here. As you can see, I always move it a bit at the edge so that everything is being shown. So now, I will click on Finish, um, go to 3D to see it much better, and then I could extend it from right here. And then we need to click Cut Geometry, select this, and select the void so let's do that again press escape look for the void form it's hard to see it right here but maybe we could see it from right here we can even go over so cut geometry So we just need to click finish and it's still not showing because we need to edit again. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the view so that it's basically visible in some ways. select that and then select the top there we go so now you just need to show or you just need to click so once you click on cut geometry you will need to select the void extrusion first and then after the uh, top here so now if we go back you will be able to see that we have done the cut geometry properly and it's still showing like that 
so that's fine enough it doesn't concern me it's not something that is going to be visible into twin motion so i'm happy with this now i'm gonna i just want to do the casing from this side um, what we could do is we could create the case from level one and then we could extrude it in place and then after that we could create the uh, um the doors for those so now um, let's go back to level one which is right here and then we're going to click on model in place and then generic model press ok uh, create your extrusion I'm gonna use this and then I'm just gonna use we're gonna create an egg on a rectangles like this so TR trim and extend trim and extend right here and then delete anything that is over and then we could set up around 500 or right, that's too much so 450 is good enough 450 and then once we're good what we could do is we could change the material um, I'm gonna set up a different wood finish I'm gonna use Douglas fir apply ok and then click finish go to 3d view so that we can expand this right here so depending on how and what height we want so it's easy to manipulate so at the top here we could add in something so that it's not overly at the top there and I think it's good enough uh, we could go to our section and then we could review how it looks I think that's good enough the height of the fridge um, the people and then now we could just click finish check it out that looks fine and then we just need to add in a boolean at the top so now let's go back and add in a model in place generic model and then add another extrusion this will be the bullion at the top there TR trim and extend again and then different material another wood let's use this apply ok click finish go back to 3d so that you can manually put it up and pull this up and then my trick is al align it from the top right here and then al again from the top and then from the bottom of that and then now it looks much better we can even align it from this side to this side and then this side to that side so we could do those this is basically align it this one is not because the fridge is too wide from there but I like the look I can click finish and I'm happy with that 
Um, another thing is we could add is the backsplash. So I think that's a good idea because I know uh, once we have all of this, it's easier to add in the uh, design for this. So even the um, base door and then the top cabinet doors. So might as well let's add in from level one. I think it's easier to do this and then just uh, manually put it up and using a line it's easier to align everything so go back to architecture click in component model in place generic model this will be generic model number one extrusion and then here create a rectangle but this will be very thin so right now I'm just doing is selecting that this will be just 10 this one as well will be 10 for the thickness um, what we could do is we could just put this one at 1000 and this is f from 925 so at least it's above that and then just change this to one of the stone tiles or if we have tiling here let's use this apply ok click finish go to 3d to manually put it up um, here is the arrow that we could grab and then now we could just move it up there AL select this base and then now select this base and then instantly you have everything from the bottom to the top there so that looks good at least you can see you can visualize um, probably I'm gonna put in a subway tile right here similar to this design or whatever but at least you know that it will look better if we have a backsplash so click finish I'm happy with that um, before we create the island with the stove um, we need to finish up this so that we could uh, use the section properly because if we create the island now it will just be uh, on our way in our way so it's easier to do this first before we do anything further but always uh, remember to keep on saving your project just in case Revit uh, crash so now, uh, to start right here, we could go and uh, go to our section. So basically, this is the one that is facing right here. Go to section 1. Now it's facing this way. And we're going to add cabinets at the top and cabinets at the bottom. As you remember, they have different depth so you will need to set different depths for those so so now um, let's start with the top um, as you know it's an L shape if we go to 3d the view that we're seeing is from here so this space is not visible so it I know it's tricky but this is something that we need to think about I know it's not gonna be all the way at the edge so we we need to create something right here create be let's be creative and do something about the corner right here okay so now 
uh, let's start at the top there so go to section 1 and then we could manually see what we're seeing there so I'm just gonna add in a panel like a 90 degree panel just to change it a bit so now let's go to architecture click component model in place and then let's look for generic model and then model press ok click on extrusion pick a plane this is very important part press ok and then s you need to select the panel which is that highlighted part so once you click click that we will create the rectangle that has an offset of 10 so now I click on the corner but because we have an offset uh, we need that offset to be from the inside so I'm gonna click on my spacebar for that to go on the other side so now here I'm gonna click click on this corner right there and then like I said we will deal with the corner later on so now um, I want to add something right here so I'm gonna find in the midpoint so roughly around here is the midpoint so I'm gonna add so make sure this is 90 so let's look at it again so right about here so that's the 90 degree midpoint and then we could add in something like this half and then this half again and then I'm good with this um, we could add in one more right here probably a small one if we check the distance around 520 and this one is 500 so let's maintain the 500 and then 500 right here Okay, so that's good click on pick line and then offset is 10 again so we need to add a gap and then now SL split element so we need to split that right there Split that and then now TR that's trim and extend we need to clean up everything so make sure you trim and extend all of those okay now we're gonna start at zero here and then the extrusion end is 20 no actually it's just 10 I want to be extruded only 10 for that and then here we're going to change the material um, I forgot the material that we use for the top maybe it's still here one of the wood material I remember it's one of those gluten something so this one I remember we put it at the top there 
top material so now here we could click on finish and then we have something that looks like here this is actually a different material let me double check Douglas fir so I'm gonna copy that and then just click cancel and then here I'm just gonna use this one to edit in place select that and then change this to Douglas fir click finish and then here I'm just going to manually add that right there so we can even just do it like that but for now let's deal with that so all cabinet right there um, and then let's do the one for below before we continue on the side um, I want to double check what we use right here for the below so birch semi-gloss so let's use that as well so now I'm going to create a model in place generic model press OK click on extrusion pick a plane which is this plane this is a very important part um, and then click on rectangle uh, we need to offset this to 10 and then same corner spacebar and then corner again the spacebar is just to change the from the inside to the outside or outside to the inside here Douglas fir or sorry birch semi semi gloss same material as the base case and then here we could have the same line so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the same line that we have So I'm going to keep on adding lines like so. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to make multiple. So I'm going to check that. So now I'm just going to go align AL. then align it here and then right here then SL again split element the one at the top for this part we're going to just not we're not just gonna uh, add basically a hinge door we're going to add a drawer as well so for now we're gonna do this once we finish we're going to edit So here, we're just going to click finish. Uh, we want to we make sure that it's only 10. And we have our cabinets right there. It's not finished, but we're going to add in more later on. So thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.